saw this date in 1960, an important event in the relations between the Catholic and Anglican churches 61 years ago. Pope John the 23rd met with Geoffrey Francis Fisher, Anglican Archbishop of Canterbury. It was the first face-to-face -face meeting between a pope and the primate of the Anglican Communion in 400 years. Joining us now from Rome is Archbishop Ian Ernest, Director of Anglican Center in Rome and personal representative of the Archbishop of Canterbury to the Holy See. Your Grace, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, can you tell us more about this meeting, how it came about, and why there had been a pause in relations for 400 years? I think it's the fruits uh, of those who've sown the seeds of a desire to connect again after 400 years. There have been many prelates, from, both from the Roman Catholic and Anglican Church, who have been meeting privately, uh, urging on the leaders of the church to be able to come back together. And, uh, and these fruits have, have, have been actually uh, been in place through that private meeting between John the 23rd and Archbishop Fisher. But I have uh, to say uh, that uh, John XXIII had the vision, that's why he prepared himself for Vatican Council, the Second Vatican Council, and Archbishop Fisher was a missionary. He traveled 1,100 miles to go and meet the patriarchs and other church leaders, and finally he came to Rome. So these are the fruits of those who believed that we had to be back. Uh, entertaining new relationships. And it falls also in the context of the centenary celebration of the Malin conversation between the Church of England and the Catholics from Belgium, which started in 1921. And so this celebration falls in the context of a win of change, which started in the 1960s for a new mindset, for a desire for unity, a desire for new relationships, and a desire to be faithful to the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they hold me one. And if you don't mind, um, can you tell us maybe a little bit about what was discussed during that meeting and what came from it? Very few things came from it, but what I can say that there was an intense desire for an encounter to see what would be the possibilities of engaging with one another, to establish new relationships. And this was materialized at the Vatican Council and what happened after that with uh, the Archic, which was established, and then the Yorkham in the 1980s. And I have to say that uh, these discussions were definitely the seeds for what would happen after Vatican Council. And before I let you go, Your Grace, I'm curious, how are relations between yes. the Vatican and the Anglican Church now? I have to say that uh, the relations are good. And since I've been here since 2019, I really rejoice of what I am living through. And the first experience that I had here was for the canonization of uh, St. John Henry Newman. During the service of canonization, I had the surprise of having the Pope living his procession, coming to meet me and say to me that I was welcome to Rome as a new bishop in Rome. And that gave a pathway to build up, I would say, good relationships and also build up collaboration between the different dicasteries and the Anglican Center. And recently, uh, we had the visit of the Archbishop of Canterbury, and the meeting was the Pope was very cordial. Definitely the seeds sown by Archbishop Fisher and Pope John XXIII are born fruits. Today, we are able to look at each other, to hold hands together, to walk together, and to be together. Well, Your Grace, thank you so much for the time today and for this conversation. We appreciate it. Archbishop Ian Ernest, Director of Anglican Center in Rome and personal representative of the Archbishop of Canterbury to the Holy See. Thank you again. And thank you for welcoming me.